All right, this one's gonna be on NCDU. It's an NCURS interface to um, figure out your disk usage. So if I'm running out of space or I need more space or I wanna get uh, rid of stuff, um, I will use this program to figure out which one is using a lot of space and I can uh, delete it if I need to, or you know maybe uh, store it somewhere else and, and uh, use it for another time. But um, this is the, um, the front end to the DU command. So anyways, how you use this here? All you do is type in ncdu, but you have to install it from your package manager first, all right? And by default, it will sort it by, um, what is that, the size? So right now, my wine folder up top here, this is the, um, you know, the largest. So the second largest is my local, and third one is this Jenny uh, mobile here, and so on and so forth. You can see all the way to the bottom, right? anyways um so navigation wise you just go you know your arrow keys down up uh if it's a folder and you want to enter it you use uh the right key um or you go back as the left it's not that hard if you want to get more hot keys um or you get more help i mean you hit um, the question mark for help and you hit shift question mark and this is uh the hot keys here by default so you can use up and down arrow to see more of the hotkeys. So up and down, all right. So the navigation, like I said, is, you know, just your arrow keys up, down, left, right, uh, to do that. Or if you want to use uh, Vim hotkeys, they do have J, K, H, and L and all that. By default, like I said, it sorts it by size, right? But you can sort it by names and you know the items. And also, we're gonna delete some stuff because that's what the what's what we're gonna do because um, you know running out of space or you want to declutter some of your digital items you can do that uh, anything else here oh yeah they do have some graphs they can you know look at so you can see it more visually uh, right now we're on the first tab so right now you see the top here it says one for keys they have two for format here and three for about so all you do is hit uh, you know two for the format uh, and they'll tell you what you know some of these symbols means if there's an error or whatever uh, you can do that and three is the about uh, it's kind of like a real gui program but this is the end curse interface from the terminal so one two three not that hard now you want to get out of here hit q to quit uh you want to get out of here hit q to quit right now that one by default we're on the home folder but if you want to use uh let's say you have an external hard drive or an external usb just make sure you know the location of it and just type in ncdu and then uh, I'm gonna use my external hard drive here and it's in my media folder and it's called Bankai and by default it'll just scan it again right and you have your you know default interface here um, so you can sort it by what's that names if you hit N then right now it'll sort it by name so the first one is the dot trash here and the next one is a 24 and an avatar and so on and so forth uh, if you want to sort it by items, you hit capital C, so shift and C. And the largest one is my backup folder because it has a lot of um, files in there. And the second one is this Photoshop thing, so on and so forth. So depends how many files you have in that folder, then I'll sort it by that. But let's go back to the default, which is size. So you hit S, and now your size is here. Now, if you want to go into a folder, like I said, you hit the, your right arrow or what is that? L if you're using Vim and you can see all your files in here and if you want to delete one of these so let's say I, I have this um, you know folder here and I say wow okay this one is taking a lot of space I can hit D and I'll tell you me uh, are you sure you want to delete uh, this folder and all its contents so you gotta make sure you want to delete it so it says yes uh, no and then don't ask me again so I'm going to use uh, you know your arrow keys yes or no uh, we'll say yes and uh, what does it say you can't delete this one permission deny so sometimes you have to use your uh, sudo command to do this so we we'll say abort here so let's say we do that again uh, if we don't have permissions we do um, sudo uh, and then now our command will be sudo ncdu and then the folder that we're in so now we'll type in our password and let's go back into that folder right and now we hit D 
and we say yes and now it deletes it right so you can delete any of this so you hit uh, let's say for example this uh, folder called uh, what's that uh, 511 here so let's say if I delete that hit D and I say yes and there it deletes it so if you don't have permission to it make sure you run it as sudo uh, and then you know I'll allow you to delete it um, so that's pretty much it for the program really oh yeah I forgot another thing is um, if you hit G they show you the uh, I guess a little visual aid here but basically uh, you know um, it represents like which one has the most file uh, most file size uh, in each uh, folder so this one has the most here because it has uh, a lot of pound signs and if you hit G again this one will go use a uh, percentage so the percentage of your hard drive that is using um, as compared to other ones you hit G again now they have both so a little more visual aid if you need uh, you know your stats and all that um, pretty much it for the program and that's what uh, you would use it for if you want to use uh, the in curse interface they do have the command line interface so you hit uh, what's that du and this is the command line it's the same thing is just that you have to do more you know command line work instead of using the uh, arrow keys and a few hotkeys to delete stuff um, anyways that's it for ncdu should be in your repositories I think uh, just go ahead and install that and whenever you need to you know figure out which files you need to delete or which one is taking a lot of space you can use that program uh, that'll be it for this one